myself think. Why? Why, Christmas tree? Do you hear all that noise? What is it? I can't even sit in peace and quiet. Let me go see what that noise is. Ugh. Let's go see, ladies and gentlemen. What is all that noise? What is that? Really? Tell me more. What is that? Oh yeah, that's the fan. They came to assess all of that mess. They have to put this on, which is draining the living daylights out of my electricity. Ho, ho, ho. And look at this thing. And let me remind you, oh yes, oh yes, that is not the only machine. Look at how big it is, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for the electric bill or what? There's that one. There's one upstairs. And there's one in the basement. And I have to leave it on up to three days. So, with all that said, St. Joseph, you're in charge. This is your house. I hope you don't mind the electric bill. I did call the insurance company because I am your secretary. That's right, Secretary Fry. So I am trying to get the best deal for you. You just motivate the people, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they took the little machine, the little handheld device, and they went around everything to touch it. Can you hear me okay? To see if it beeps, right? That means that the floor beeped, and that means that it was 99. Not nine, nope. I said, you mean like 99 out of 100? He says, yes. 99% wet underneath these tiles. From that, am I gonna get a new floor? I don't know. I don't know. I would imagine that if it dries out, that no, I wouldn't. <laughs> However, upstairs is the same deal. They had to take off baseboards. They found some mold uh, from something that was already happening. Uh, I just want my house to be in tip top shape. Let's say that together. You ready? Tip top shape. Oh yeah. We're going to get this house so strong that even Superman can't even handle it, huh? All right. You like the mess that my kids happen to leave here, huh? They do that everywhere they go. Okay. So the water had actually gone. That scares me, man. You know what? We're going to put that underneath. Whoa, my skirt almost went in there. We're going to hide that because, you know what? I can't be missing some fingers and toes, so let us stay in there. Um, oh yeah, so water had gotten, gotten, had got under the rug, went into my bedroom. I didn't even know that. It went even up the wall because, you know, when you have wood and it spreads like that. All right, so that's all staying. You know what? I am not going to leave these lights on. Not for three days. So we are saying goodbye to all of our fun lights for now. Why? Because we are not going to spend more money. I don't even care. Because you know what? Maybe the, uh, I don't know. I don't know if the insurance company pays all that. But you know what? We're not going to. I don't know if all this is happening because of all this craziness with all this stuff that I have to do with my house. You have no idea. It's a constant. Once everything settles, is it gonna be quiet in here? Like as far as spending money? Oh, I hope so. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, it's about to get really dark in here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. All right, ready? I wanna eat those mashed potatoes. <laughs> What can I eat? What can I eat? Mm -hmm. What can I eat? All right, so everything. So brother James came back. I don't know if you remember him. Oh, we have big pickles. Yes, we do. So brother James just shows up today. I was like, wow, what are you doing here? He wanted to look at the sub pump taking measurements isn't that amazing like for free all for st. Joseph of course so is that and these guys came plus I mean there's so much going on how could I get a, a full-time job it couldn't happen this is my full-time job 
Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the foster care people came. I had to take... Sat Where did I go today? I had to go somewhere. I don't even know. I don't even know my own life. It's so hectic, but in a good way. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing. There's so many things to do. There's so many things to know. I don't even know, you know? All right, I'm going to sit down. Uh, okay. All right, you know who I like that I just found? I just found this person online. All right, so I'm going to tell you something. You ready? Let me tell you something. It's cold in here, actually, because of these fans. I'm, like, freezing right now. So I know that I'm Catholic. I am devoutly Catholic. I take saints advice all the time. I listen to the Word of God. The saints had it exactly right. They just know how to see God. And I watch these Protestants on TV. I'm not saying that they are all correct about everything because there is a lot of contradictions, especially when they talk about religion. They act like religion is horrible. Religion is exactly right. It's like so perfect. It protects us. It's good. God instituted religion, okay? It's wonderful. But, of course, Satan will lie to you and act like it's a big problem when it's not. So, what am I saying? Oh, yeah, so uh, I do like Joel Olstein and I like Tony Evans, if you can look him up. He's really good. So, all right, I need some motivation. I'm going to do that right now. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta investigate. All right, so here's the deal, people. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Okay, so... I have a best friend, as you know. I've known her since I was 17. I am ancient. I am ancient right now compared to them, okay? We've known each other for so long. What is it, 31 years? I can't get comfortable. Okay, so pay attention, are you ready? So she is gonna come live here with me for about seven months while she gets her house built. Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, is while she's here, I'm gonna go get my real estate license. She can watch my kids. And I'll go do that. I don't know how long that's going to take, man. Is it going to take me months? I hope not. I don't want to take months. But I really want to do this. Because I can. Alright, so... You don't even know about my love life, do you? That I don't have one? <laughs> I don't. However, let me share with you. I... That's right. I have my eye on somebody. Oh, yes. But they don't have their eye on me. They don't want me. No, they don't. And it's okay. You know why? Because God... Can you see me all right? All right. God... God has his eye on me. And you know what? I will tell you... Hey, this looks so pretty good, doesn't it? Look how short my hair is. I don't like that. Why is it like that? What happened? I think I'm going bald. All right. So... Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 we're on two opposite ends, right? He likes being single, and I like marriage. There's so many projects. I, I can't even see straight, okay? I just can't. Oh, and we made our first sale on shoveling, right? We all shoveled yesterday, except for Rachel, my oldest. We all went out, we shoveled. The kids made money, they made 20 bucks each. There was a lot of ice, man, on, on this guy's property. Sarah made her first sale. We have an association here and uh, a website. I put a note out for a notice out for her chocolate chip cookies, and we have two dozen. Somebody wants two dozen. So, yeah, she'll be a professional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta go because I think I know who this is. No, it's not. I'll be back. Hello. I'm so excited for Sarah. I put out, see we have this association, I think I told you that earlier, that you can communicate with your neighbors. Well, we had a shoveling 
job. We did that. And I told Sarah, I said, why don't you put your cookies up for sale? And we got a sale, two dozen for Saturday. How fun is that? Yes, and we can sell them for, I think, $6 a dozen. I know it's a lot, but they're homemade and they're huge. And um, and they're willing to do it. <laughs> um, and you know what I think I'm gonna do? I am. There's so many things to do. I want to, I have a, Steven's one of his best friends, girl or fiance's or wife. I think she's a wife now. She does this. She'll make something for the day, right? Like like a soup for the day and the, whatever thing she makes, she'll post it to her people and they buy it. I could do that. I could like make a lasagna, eggplant, sell a big chunk of it for a good five bucks, put a lot of sauce all over it, and make a delivery, right? Get a little clientele going and then get a license. I know a woman, she sells whoopie pies. She makes them. We went there one day. She taught us what she did and she showed us the procedure, all the paperwork she had to do. I think she was the first one in our city to do that. So I can ask her the ropes, get my life. There's so many things. You could have many businesses, you see? I have the disabled come live here. I'll have the foster care kids first. I could have drive, drive an Uber, you know, just to make some money whenever I feel like it. I could, but my car is kind of nasty. That's the only thing. Can you do it like that? I don't know. Um, I could sell food. I could say soup of the day, you know what I mean? And then put it out there and, you know, for like, say, $4 for a cup of soup, $3 for a cup of soup, you know, go deliver it for two bucks. Come on, people. Let's make some money. Uh, what else? Real estate. That one is like, a, I have to find a realtor, not a realtor, a class. I'm still watching it on TV. It's kind of boring to watch on TV. But all these ideas and I just want to be a homeschooling mother. <laughs> you know what I could do? The gentleman came over on Sunday night. He's an electrician. He's everything. He builds, he builds houses. He didn't charge me and he normally does not go out on a Sunday like that. He's watching the game. He goes, I don't even normally answer my phone. But the thing is, um, I should do something special. Instead of giving him money, I could give him some of Sarah's cookies for free. I could make him something. I don't know. Yeah, it has to happen. Something good has to happen. He didn't have to do that. That was very nice. <laughs>